It's safe to say that I love the 5th Gen Toyota 4Runner. The past three years with this 2021 TRD Off-Road have been nothing short of incredible. Awesome adventures with family and friends, discovering how well engineered and easy this vehicle is to upgrade and personalize, and after doing all my own foreigner maintenance, I've learned to thoroughly appreciate how simple, reliable, and old school it is. But a new generation has arrived. The 2025 6 Gen Toyota 4Runner is coming very soon. Let's break down all the new information and also discuss, is it worth ever selling a 5th Gen 4? We're doing one of these again. We are. Yeah, well, finally. hey everybody, we're here with the uh, the Council of Truck Nerds until we come up with a better name. Uh, we've got Chris, my buddy Chris, who you've seen on the channel. If you've watched this channel, which you definitely have, uh, you can follow him on Instagram, PNW Bison. And we have Nate from American Expedition Vehicles. Hello, once again. He's a Jeep guy, but he's crashed this whole Toyota party, and he's even brought us AEV branded beer. That's correct. Yeah, so this is Savigre IPA from Arbor Brewing. We're Thank actually you. here though to talk about the uh, six gen Toyota 4Runner. We have the uh, the reveal video that by the time this video comes out, everyone's seen it, but I haven't seen it yet. So we're gonna react to it live. Then we're gonna break down all of the specs for the six gen 4Runner. And then we'll talk about what we think of it as, uh, as off-roading enthusiasts, as me, who's owned a uh, fifth gen now for a little over three years and a, and a Tacoma and we'll, We'll give you our thoughts. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm excited. Should we should we hit and play on this? Yeah, let's see. We yes. have some cool I see mountains. The, I see the desert. Oh, is that a desert? Let's find out. Well, you guys. That was a good climbing. Forerunner is among the most iconic vehicles. Pause for a, a half a second. This mm -hmm. guy, whoever you are, your voice, your national treasure, I really appreciate that you do like from the, the, the minivans through the trucks, every Toyota video is this guy. You never, you, you do you, man. Announced in yeah. Toyota's yeah. lineup. This legendary nameplate has sold over 4 million units since like it debuted in 1994. 4 million, and that's one of them. Find the so tone down, down to come off that light bar. Rugged athletic they do like it. Which is evident in its high lift, lean body, and big tires. It has been thoroughly modified. Big tires? How big of the, are, are these big tires? <laughs> Whoa! While packing the latest okay. technologies. And with a whopping nine grade. Makes sense. Nine grades. <laughs> so sport is still there. That's... That's complicated, you guys. It's a lot of words. So what's the difference between TRT Off-Road Premium and TRT Pro? Well, the leather seats, um, sunroof. sunroof, oh, and no. a couple other things. Nice. Like this one has other four that, couplers same. and this one only has five? Whatever, Nate, let's keep going. I don't know. From. It has one of the most diverse I like how they Toyota fixed thing. the rear windows. Meaning there's truly- They no are cool. I'll, yeah. I'll pause that when I- Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, looks we'll, like a fourth gen. Well, yeah. yeah. It looks like a fourth gen also, but it looks like a first or a second gen. Because yeah. they all had that, like the, the oh, window that shook that way. Of the so new it's pretty turbocharged cool. engines found across its lineup. The standard iForce gas engine makes it. So we're same power train as a, as a Tacoma. All exactly torque, the same. While the available iForce Max it does. electric system faster. cranks out a That one does go faster in the video. And an incredible one thing I did already notice is there is no, uh, unlike the Tacoma, there is no manual. Forerunner. Oh, sure. So that. Oh, that's kind of. That would have made this whole like switching to a new generation thing a little more hard to make either responsible or irresponsible decisions. <laughs> responsible, of course. They're always responsible. Yeah. We got crazy fender flares on that thing. I just think this cut on the the back corner. That looks, that looks kind of weird. It does look kind of weird. I guess maybe you just. That's where you just cut for aftermarket. Like that's where your that's where your line is. Reverse like, fiber cut. But yeah. yeah, and that's another thing. Obviously, reverse this, fiber this cut. Is, is what said. A reverse fiber <laughs> cut. That's a really good. That's good. No. I like that. No, uh, another thing I'm noticing different from the the uh, from the Tacoma. Also, we got no steel rear bumper, which it would be cool if it had that. Mm. That's what I kind of noticed with uh, part of the video. We talked about the tier or the. What's it called? The Trail Hunter. Mm -hmm. It didn't have an ARB rear bumper. They were just talking about shocks. Right. Right. Oh, that's power yeah. is easily yeah. accessed too, thanks to both powertrains making their peak torque at a low 1,700 RPM. That's cool. That's, that's, that's very nice. More responsive drive. As a result, this both and uh, especially the Tacoma are. Punch for you have to you have to give it the beans for a while before you get there. Yeah, all while bringing there. the added benefit of enhanced fuel economy. Yeah. Forerunners aren't about fuel economy. But they could be. Well, no. Oh. It could be better. It could be a lot better. <laughs> More redefined drive. <laughs> I love mine, but yeah, we just keep on making it worse. On and off-road experience. 
It's high strength chassis. Oh, man. Stand so so the, the terrible front air dam thing continues. Still there, and chop That's it off good. again. Yep. In addition to standard part-time four-wheel drive, cool. an electronically controlled locking rear differential. Oh, halfway there. Right the front. Forward. Right the front. Halfway. <laughs> hey. So, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're playing at home along, watching along, uh, yeah, you can take a drink uh, every time uh, they make fun of me for only having a rear locker, because they both have uh -huh. both. And, uh, and you can feel, you can feel what I feel. I mean, the video is only, what, halfway over. They could maybe, they can save that for maybe the, end. the second half. <laughs> they might. Let's, drop. Let's find out. Off -road grade features TRD off-road. And then a, grade. usually a TRD Sport is a different the available built, built terrain shock, select, train select, available crawl control, and the available Choo -choo. stabilizer disconnect mechanism. <laughs> all of which help... Okay, I want, I want to talk for a second. I want to talk for a second. To, to everybody out there, you, you know who I'm talking to. You're going out there, you're getting the brand new Tacoma, and you're like, I need it right now because I want to make videos about it. Mm -hmm. And you're not waiting like a couple weeks to get the the front disconnecting sway bar. How much of an upgrade is it? Anyway, that's just that's just what I wanted uh, to share. Shots fired. Shots fired. I just a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe I'm jealous. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> <All of which laughs> I think you should buy this. SUV you think I should buy it? Terrain. Yeah, I think you should. Taking this step. Comment below. All new trail hunter. This is gonna be way better. Complete with a lifted it's suspension not. with old man it is. shocks. It's two and a half inch. Making it the perfect. That's cool. Overlay. That's old man cool. Shocks. Old man, the the, the, the trail hunter is definitely the mo most Meanwhile, appealing. Meanwhile, TRD Pro uh, doubles model. down on thrilling adventures in the dirt with its Baja and The question is, can you lift it too? Featuring unique specs like a lifted suspension with adjustable box shock absorbers, this off-road monster comes alive. The harder it's pushed. Well, a clear so sign that this every SUV brand is truly <laughs> shot. Really like you want Bill Stein, <laughs> you want <insane>. Fox, <laughs> you want Old Man Emu. Like we got it. Good. Ruggedly stylish. All of this performance is backed by an exterior design that highlights Forerunner's ability to go nearly anywhere. Up front, a new high clearance front bumper makes it easier to clear up. Mm -hmm. It's got some like actual. Front. Yeah, it's got cutouts. Mm -hmm. It's got actual steel. Well, actually, look at Skid that. Skid plates? That's probably one of the things that, that people don't talk about. That skid plate goes all the way freaking back. Look at that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. That same point. same kind of easy. I mean, uh, there's a video about it doing the uh, the covert bumper on this. Just very, very simple lines to cut out that are on this. And it looks like it's even easier on this one. Meanwhile, each grade stands out with distinct exterior details. Like a roof rack and high mount air intake, highlighting nice. Trail Hunter's adventurous That's nature. That's cool. Mm -hmm. a heritage we talked about that that air intake that, that there's one from uh, up, up, Upfit, I think. Here's his inspired light bar that they talked about. Okay. okay. Details like 20 inch wheels and available. Oh. Power oh. Power. Hey, you know what? For the uh, <laughs> for the for the for, to you boomers out there, you get that one. That's which cool. which model was that? That was the limited. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> a TRD Pro gets. <laughs> if you're limited, you have side limit steps. <laughs> Limited grass fine cabin is built around. So we don't have our ISO dynamic Batman style, uh, bike. There's no bike pump seats. I don't think it's bike pump oh, seats. They probably got made fun of too much. And there's like, we can't keep going. We can't. Elevate this vehicle. He didn't ventilate front seats. That's cool. Yeah. Literally. Like Trail Hunter's rugged interior theme with unique soft text trim seats. Those look. Those look. TRD Pros. Those look pretty red stickers. Yeah. All the pattern inserts. All the all the TRD Pros. From I think like the Thunder on and the VR2 and that. Bold and tumble forward for more cargo space. Same. While select I'm curious if the third row. Oh, it, okay. Third row. Mm -hmm. So so SR5 and limited just like now, just like the fifth oh. gen, you can have a third row. I didn't know they added for the third row. folks who have three, four, eight. Maybe four this, four kids. Stop doubling. Maybe this would be good for Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Chris will get a new. The maybe not. Yeah. Eh? Mm? Yeah. Third row, Chris. You that got... is a uh, third row for children you hate. <laughs> With like without legs. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which one of your kids do you hate? None of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goes beyond comfortably carrying people and gear. The Very similar. Great. So allow you to stay. So that's a that's an upgrade. That's, that's a much, an more much more powerful inverter. Much more. Much more useful. Similar. You can run your Starlink. Pre -wired you could. You could. DC panel Ox switches. Pre you got four of them. That's cool. Accessories. That's enough. The cool thing about the fifth gen, it, it doesn't doesn't have aux switches, but it has lots of blanks, so it's easy to add switches. But but yeah, it's nice to have already wired, of course. Yeah, it's just kind of cool. Like you have all your fuses and stuff. Right. Exactly. Are you wired up? I do a hot take. <coughs> yeah, do a hot take. go, go for it. I promised, I promised pre-video that I wouldn't be mean. So this is not me trying to be mean. <laughs> go. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I am confused as to why you need to have th three inch, three inch, 
kind of look like three inch tall lettering in the passenger side reminding you what brand of vehicle you own. It's right here. Oh, oh yeah. When, you're drunk? when the so passenger is drunk? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. The when the passenger is drunk. It's when they it's call 911. He's like, oh, it's yeah. a Toyo, Toyota. <laughs> they call 911. Like, I'm in a Toyota. I'm in a Toyota. Come help me. I don't, I don't that's know. That's all I know. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, I, I mean, I don't mind it. It's very true. Wireless compatibility for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as five USB C ports. Nice. Three in the front and two in the rear. That's awesome. And that's to maximize the music experience. Oh, you don't, get, you, don't get the, you don't get the little speaker that pops out of the dash. Oh, that is a Tacoma exclusive. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Platform Forerunner can no be with the 14 speaker <laughs> <No problem>. <laughs> premium <laughs> audio system. Like, this system includes. Oh! <laughs> oh! Just kidding. Oh! Just kidding. <laughs> Live reaction. That's oh, wow. awesome. So, oh, wow. you, you do get it. Yeah. yeah. But wait, Ron. Oh, there's but wait, two? there's more? Yeah, you order now. Forerunner Where's the other one go? I don't know. We were talking, so we had to rewind it. So Maybe you can more. link it with your friend's Forerunner. So if you oh. have two Forerunners, you can stereo pair them. Oh, wow. And then yeah. you can, like, so you have to buy two. Yeah. Two Forerunners? So yeah, no, or maybe it works with Tacoma. Or... What if you have oh, so wow. many... Oh yeah, oh. so many possibilities. Think about it. You have to get a new Tacoma and a new Forerunner, so you can have your speakers. So you have the two speakers. linked together, so you can have stereo sound when you go camping. Oh yeah, there's no together. other way to do that. Yep. This is the obvious choice. Plus, the available well, it can tow things. Yeah, it can tow optional old trailer. Make use of Forerunner's six. That's an Airbnb. Six thousand pounds, so we're that up a thousand pounds in towing capacity. That's not so that's, bad at all. That's, that's only if you buy the hybrid one. I was that's looking at no. these yes, notes one here. Is that's what it says. Are you serious? You have to buy the hybrid with the. Hold on, hold on. With Nate, Nate, Nate with the specs here. <laughs> That's definitely what I said. But so yeah, is, it's somewhere in it here. Really? It says something about you have to get the hybrid something more to get power the, to the get extra the extra towing. Something. Oh, wow. It's in here somewhere. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll fact check you on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you when you get the, the max force nickel metal hybrid battery. battery, you get 326 horsepower and 465 pounds foot of torque which is great towing capacity grows from 5,000 to 6,000 so I think that means that you have oh. to get the iForce Max electric motor to get 6,000 pounds tow because the other one is not again max I believe I believe you they can Toyota they can remarkable balance of on-road refinement and off-road ability embodies excitement marketing and speed for oh, Sandy and Whoa! Whoa! We've done that. We have done that. SUV I like that color. In mind, I like that green color. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. As we know, I like to, to pick earth tone things. I like to pick earth tone yeah. things. Yeah. And I like to hide the earth. Disappearing in the surroundings. This is beyond zero. Well, beyond zero. <laughs> so it's like one. So it's one. With all of these factors considered, it's clear that the to is going to find a rugged SUV once again. Learn more at Toyota. Oh, I think we're, we're wrapping it up. Hey, that was it. Wow. So learning more at Toyota.com. Okay, Nate, lay on some facts. The wheelbase of the new model has grown 2.4 inches. Okay. And, and overall length and has grown 4.7 inches compared to the old model. Yes. The longer overhang means uh, the approach angle and the departure angle okay. are slightly degraded than uh, for than the this new 4Runner. So, yeah, so the 6th yep. gen for the 4th, 5th gen, okay. the 6th gen is worse. But they have a however. So however, however, the nearly 20 inch shorter wheelbase compared to Tacoma should give the 4Runner a big advantage over pickup trucks at the same angle. So compared to a completely different vehicle, <laughs> it's better. <laughs> Which to their credit, they build. So yeah, true, like, true, like if, true. If you, were, if you were thinking about having worst approach angle, just remember you're better than a Tacoma. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is perfect because actually we're going from now into from the facts to now into kind of the ranty part of the video. No, this well, is facts. No, no, keep 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 bringing facts. But no, it, it yeah, it's uh things have definitely gotten fancier. They've definitely like I I, I really like the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. um, this is pretty much exactly what I expected to see. I would I would say it's like you know what everyone kind of figured it would be. You know nothing crazy like a removable top like there were rumors of oh, or anything like that. That would, cool. that would have been pretty neat. But things have gotten really nice and really expensive and probably more complicated. There and were no uh, no pricing released. There was no pricing. There usually isn't until until later. Yeah, I would know. imagine you know looking at a looking at a a, a Forerunner and a Tacoma now. Um, the Forerunner is usually slightly more expensive than a, like an SR5 Forerunner is more expensive than an SR5 
Tacoma sure. usually. Oh, so um, I Got would say you probably want to add three to four thousand dollars on top of what a Tacoma costs for a four runner. Is is my guess. Um, I'm just. As I see this, I love it. I, I, I'm a fan of Toyota, but I'm so glad I bought this in 2001. I, I, or 2021. I mean, they made this in 2001. So <laughs> same, same model. They did. It same wasn't model. that different. But uh, no, it's just, I'm, I'm so thankful I did because uh, this MSRP was $41,000. Right. And those days are so gone. Yeah, super gone. And it's just, and, and now like... I'm just I'm I'm still in the honeymoon phase with this thing. Yeah. It's been a little over three years, and I'm I'm still. I don't know. I, I love it. I'm not ready to switch this out. I honestly I don't. I, don't know. I think that this is like, the fifth gen forerunner is is kind of like I I I, I don't know. I you, people talk about about Land Cruisers this way, but I feel like I've never owned a vehicle. You can go back and watch the vi the videos that we did, you know, starting in like in 2021, where we, like the first like mod videos we did. And I remember taking the, the, the center console apart and I was just marveled at like how simple it was and how like built nicely it was and how it like went apart and back together, but it was solid compared to every other vehicle I've ever worked on or taken apart or modified or done maintenance on. It's just always more complicated. It's always less nice. And this thing is just simple and built different than any other vehicle I've ever owned. The biggest difference I see, you're gonna go from a five-speed transmission to an eight-speed, yes. which I think is a night and day difference for the Jeep Wrangler. If sure. like a Jeep JK mm -hmm. with a five-speed to a JL with an eight-speed, yep. they drive completely yep. different. Yep. The other massive thing that's different about this is electronic sway bar disconnect. You're going to of have course. more flex off-road with it. Definitely. Definitely. I don't know. If I were thinking about buying a 4Runner, I probably would hold off for the 6th gen. I would. Sure. Uh, I personally would go with the 6th gen. I, 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 I totally see what you're saying. If you don't already have one. Yeah. And if, you don't already have, you know money and time invested into one that you're already happy with, then sure. I mean, yeah, it, I mean gas, like, I'll say this. This is a pretty mild build. Uh, we have two 75s. Uh, you know, I've, I've tried to do aluminum skid plates, um, try to kind of keep the weight down. But this, and, and, a, and, a, and a, like a two, two and a half inch lift on this one. And gas mileage is awful. Like it's, it's bad. It's, it's not like old Tundra bad, but it's bad. And well, so I'm I sure- I don't think this is any much better. Uh, probably not much better, especially Like two miles hundred. per gallon, maybe three at yeah, best. Yeah, high teens. But this is like mid teens. I bet you money teens. if you drive this thing, like the drivability is gonna be so much nicer with the eight speed transmission versus the five. Mm. 100,000 likes, he buys a new one. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Come we'll lay it down right now. <laughs> wow, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna make what, it like 100,000 yeah. likes or you, you buying the six gen? 100,000 yeah. likes? 100,000 How likes. many? Okay, that would have to, that would be. Yeah. I mean, that would be. Uh, how many views to get that many? Hundred thousand. I will make no ninety nine thousand <laughs> fake accounts. If you make like, it'd be enough. like, it'd be like fifteen million views to get a hundred thousand. Things likes. go viral. That's all I'm nah, saying. not this. Yeah. <laughs> Share it. Share it with your friends. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Make that hundred thousand. I still won't do it. Yeah. Do that. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. You want it, it's Bill cool style? that that, that it Fox. comes with actual like rock sliders. Yeah, that, that is cool. Did yeah, it come with rock sliders? The Trail Hunter did. Ah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Trail Hunter I think is a great pack. I think that's yeah. I think that's the one. I think that's the one that I'd be most interested in. And I mean, that's kind of what the Forerunner is good at. That kind of off roading, anyway, right? It's not the it's not a Jeep Rubicon. It's not the best rock crawler in the world, although you can do some rock crawling with it. Mm -hmm. It's like it's designed for that purpose, and a Trail Hunter fits that really well. So, I yeah. if I were to get one, that would be the one I would get. I want to see the side by side comparison of the new Forerunner and the new Land Cruiser. I would love to see like, that or do, do that. walk around, see like <laughs> wheelbase lengths, approaching. Yes, angles. definitely. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this conversation. We've, if you want to go back, we've done these for the Tacoma, the Bison, a few other things. Uh, we also did uh, a 600 mile long uh, Washington Bat Country Discovery whole movie. If you want to watch more of us, well, until next time, uh, God bless. Don't forget to do yourself. The end. Come the on. end. <laughs> yeah, this thing <laughs> gonna suck. <laughs> it's not gonna suck. This He's is so bad. Who's gonna do this? It's not that vehicle? bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy it, but it's not that bad. <laughs>